Hello everyone, my handsome princes and my beautiful princesses. Auntie Karine is here again with another reading and spelling lesson for you. Now this lesson is for the children who are learning to read or who are already reading and also learning to spell. Now these words, yes, they don't follow the sound rules. Yes, these words are so disobedient because even though we say that it's best to teach children by letter sounds, there are some words that don't follow sound rules. Now these words are called sight words. You just have to know them from memory. These are the words, the only words that you have to learn from just memory, just by looking at them and studying them and spelling them so you can know them because we can't sound them out. You know why? There is a letter in that word that is giving problem. And they are called silent letters. Yes, silent letters. Did you know that almost 60% of the words in English language have a silent letter? Yes, and when there is a silent letter, then we can't sound it out because some of those words you can't sound them out because the words the letters don't make any sound so we cannot sound them and make the sound of that letter because they are silent they are they don't say anything so i'm going to introduce you to some of these silent letters in words and then i am going to tell you the rule yes for these silent letters so when you are reading and you see these words with these troublesome silent letters you know that you mustn't call their names because they're not talking in those words so grab your pencil grab a book and take notes so here I have a lovely chart for you with some silent letters and there are three I'm going to focus on three silent letters for now because there are other silent letters and even though they're silent, they make sound in some words because every letter has a sound. Every letter has their sound, but it's not in every word that they make their sound. So in these words, these letters do not talk. They don't make any sound. And we're going to talk about silent G in words, silent P, and silent K. And I'm going to tell you when they are silent. Now let's do silent G first. You can take down the chart. So let's do silent G first. Now in a word, when G comes before the letter N, it is silent. So the words that normally has silent G has letter N before it. So let's see these words. So this word, there is the G and there is the N. So before the N, there is G. Okay, you have to write G first. So that's why they say G comes before him. So before the N, there is the G as the rule says. So you don't call the sound, you don't say it's G. You don't say Gunash. Because the G is silent. The N is telling the G, don't talk. You are silent. When you see me before you, do not talk. So you are not going to say G. You're going, just going to say Nash. Yes. You're going to say Nash. Because the G is silent. Because letter N is there beside it. Now in this word. See this word? See the G there? And there's an N. So you don't say A like G. No. The G don't talk. See the end here? When the end G sees the end, it knows that it's, to, it's supposed to close its mouth. So, you're going to say a line. A line. Don't say the name of the G. Do not say the sound. No, neither hard nor soft. Now to this word. Let's see if we can say this word. Remember the G don't talk in this one because there's the N. So before a N and you have a G, then the G is quiet. So this word, let's sound it. 
No. At least let's call it. No. And the G is silent. But this one, what do you think this one going to be? Not. Not. I will not say n at not because those are not the only letters in the word. Remember the G is there. So we just leave it at that and say not. But in your head, remember that there is a G. So when you are reading in your books and you see this, these words like these, with G and then a hen, then the G is silent. So before N, now let's go over to P. Now for P, it says before S, the P is silent. So when you see words like these with P and then an S, then you do not say the sound of the P, which is P. Do not say the sound. You, or you start with the sound of the S. Yes. The S tells the P, do not talk. I am here. I will do the talking. So you say, Sam, Sam, and that's the word. P does not talk because the S is there, telling him to shut his mouth. But this one is the same thing. The P is there before the S, so you do not say the P sound. You say, Sai, kick, Sai, kick. This one, same thing. P does not talk. Si, ko, lo, ji. See, I break this up for you. Si, ko, lo, ji. So remember, when you're reading and you see words like these with the S in front of the P, or the P is before the S, then the P is silent in words like these. Remember, all letters have sound, but in some words, they don't make any sound. They are silent. Now let's go over to K. And we know a lot of words with K. And the K is silent when it is before a N. When it comes before the N in a word, it is silent. So words like these that start with K, comes before the end, the K does not talk. Remember, it is the kicking letter that says K. But in this letter, it does not kick. It does not say anything because the N is there and the N says, do not talk in this one, K. So the K is this. So when you're calling the word, you will call, you start from the end. Night. Don't make the sound for K, because N is there. But this one, it is, start from here. Knee. Hen does not talk. The K, sorry, does not talk. And for this one, no. K silent, because N is there. And this one is knock. Again, the K is silent because the N is there. So, here. Now, here is another list of silent letters in words. Remember, all letters make sounds, but in some words, they don't. And there's a reason. Now, let's do B. Now, we all know that B says B. But in some words, it is silent. Now for the B, it is silent after M. So in a word, if the B comes after M, then it is silent. It doesn't talk. Because the M says, no talking, Mr. B. I will talk. So you say, bum. Bum. B is there. But you just have to know that there's a B there in the word bum. And once you hear them, hmm, you know that there is B. And as I said, these are side words, so you have to keep looking at them, keep looking at them and memorizing them. These are the words that you learn from memory and not necessarily by sounds alone. Now this word, 
Um, see the hem there again? Comb. 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 The B is silent because which letter is there? M. It is after the M, so it is silent. Now, for it says that it is also silent in a word when it comes before T. So, in words like these that has as the B before the T, then the B is silent. Debt. Debt. So, you don't sound the B. And this is doubt. Doubt. The B does not talk in this word. So remember, these words, you just have to know them. And over here, we have W. We know W says wo, wo. But in these words, it does not say wo. It don't talk any at all. Now, the W is silent when it comes before R. So words like these that have W, R, W, R, W, R, then you call the R. Right right but you must know that the word right and based on the meaning of the word too you will know which letter is to go there because you know this right is when we write in our book put prints in books right with pencils or pen or those kind of materials then you know that it is w r i t e so based on their meaning you will know the word and this one is wrist your wrist, wrist, see, the R is there, so it tells the W not to talk, so you say wrist, and this one is wrong, yes, when you're, when you're not right, you're wrong, and the R starts its sound, and the W is silent, and this is wrap. Yeah. Cover things or fold up something in, in a wrap. Wrap. And see? This one follows. Now, boys and girls, parents, this is for you. Now, I've done an activity. It's a game, right? That you can do with your children. And it is called bingo. So, it's silent words. Silent letters bingo. Alright, so just as how you see the bingo board with, with numerals, but this time we're going to put our silent words. Use words that you already teach the children. So we have done these words, these silent letters in words. So we are going to use them to play bingo. So you can look at the idea, get an idea, and do them with your children. And it's not just limited to these. You can do them with letters for the smaller babies who are just learning letters and sounds. You can do letters instead. So you know once the child bingo straight down, marks straight down, then the child bingo. So you would have another set of cards with these words on it. And then you know you shake your back. And you pull up and you say... Nash, Nash, and then the, the child will mark the word. So if the child marks here, marks here, marks here, marks here, then you know the child bingo. And you know if you play this game or this game with their with their children, they're going to love it. Yes, they will, and they are learning at the same time. So so these are ideas, these are games that you can play with your children to build. Um, their word skill to know to identify words and hence develops fluency when they're reading.